Okay, this is AP, AB, and BC calculus. We are doing unit two, section 10, which is the last one of the unit, finding the derivatives of tangent, cotangent, secant, and or cosecant functions. So um, let's go ahead and, and get started. So basically, you're gonna wanna memorize the differentiation rules for all six trig functions. But in this video, specifically, we're gonna use the quotient rule uh, to find them from the sine and cosine rules that we already know, okay? So the rules that we need to do this are the, the derivative of sine, which is cosine, the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine, and the quotient rule, right? So we're going to go ahead and find the derivatives of the, the four other trig functions, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant, using those rules. All right, so we're going to go ahead and differentiate uh, tangent, which is sine over cosine. So in this situation, right, my high function is sine, my low function is cosine, right? So the derivative tangent is going to be low d high, which is going to be cosine, minus high, which is sine, d low, which will be a negative sine, right? Draw the line and square the low, which will be a cosine squared of x, okay? So the numerator, when I clean that up, becomes cosine squared x plus a sine squared x all over cosine squared. Well, hopefully you recall the trig identity. Uh, so we have a trig ID, right? So there's a trig ID that says that sine squared plus cosine squared is one, right? So sine squared of some angle, I use theta here, plus cosine squared of some angle is one. So I can replace this entire numerator with a one, which means this is a one over a cosine squared, which is the same as a secant squared. So the note card that you're going to want to make is that the derivative with respect to tangent x is secant squared of x. And I probably shouldn't have used red because I usually use red for the note cards that have a negative sign, and this one obviously doesn't, okay? So we're going to make a note card. At the end of this video, I'll show you all of the note cards that you should have for trig identities. All right, so uh, I'm going to let you try this one, right? Same idea. I want you to find the derivative of cotangent using the quotient rule. So pause me if you want to do it on your own. Notice my high function here is a cosine and my low function is a sine. So low d high minus high d low, draw the line, square the low. So I'm going to end up with a negative sine squared x minus a cosine squared x all over sine squared, right? Well, that's the same as a negative one times the identity that we just discussed in the last video, right? Or the last slide, rather, sine squared plus cosine squared. So I'm going to end up getting that this whole thing right here, hang on, changing colors, this whole thing is actually a one, right? Sine squared plus cosine squared can be replaced with a one. So what's going to happen is I'm going to get that the derivative with respect to x of cotangent x is a negative one on top of a sine squared, which is a negative cosecant squared x. So that's the one right there. The derivative with respect to x of cotangent x is a negative cosecant squared. And again, when we, when we put all of these rules on a single slide, you'll be able to see how some of them have some similarities and differences. All right, so uh, for E2, we're gonna go ahead and differentiate secant. So we're gonna differentiate uh, secant, which has a high function of one and a low function of cosine x, right? So uh, low d high minus high d low, draw the line, square the low. So I end up getting that this is a sine of x on top of a cosine squared x. And there's a bunch of different ways to write this, but the one that we're gonna get, uh, get used to is we're gonna get used to seeing this as a one over a cosine times a sine over a cosine, which is a secant tangent. So secant x tangent x, and that's the derivative that you're gonna memorize for secant. That the derivative of secant is secant tangent. All right, so if it's secant of uh, u, then it's secant u tangent u, right? If it's secant of theta, it's secant theta tangent theta. So we usually say derivative of secant is secant tangent, but we mean that the whatever's inside the secant has to be inside the uh, secant and the tangent. So go ahead and give a p to a try. Same idea. You have a high function and a low function, right? So uh, low d high minus high d low. Draw the line, square the low. 
and I should get a negative cosine x over a sine squared. But again, we're going to split that up into two things. We're going to split that up into a 1 over a sine. Actually, when we get a negative 1 over a sine, uh, and then a cosine over a sine, right? Because that would be the same thing. So what we're going to get is that this is a negative cosecant cotangent. So again, the derivative with respect to x of cosecant x is a negative cosecant x cotangent x. So uh, what we're going to do on the next slide is I'm going to go ahead and give you those note cards that you should know. So at this point, you should have note cards for all of these things, right? So 14, uh, there are optional ones if you wanted to include one for like the sum and difference formula, right? So, so um, if you wanted to have a 15th one, you could do something like this, right? The derivative with respect to f, uh, x of f of x plus or minus g of x is that f prime of x plus or minus g prime of x, right? And that's fine if you want to have that one. Um, similarly, if you wanted, you could have one that says that the derivative with respect to x of k times f of x is k times f prime of x. And again, that's a choice if you want it, right? So, so that's fine if you want them, but these are, the, these are the ones that you should have so far. You'll notice that for the trig functions, um, I color coded them. Uh, so what you'll notice is that these two, uh, tangent and cotangent, have very similar derivatives. Tangent is secant squared. Cotangent is a cosecant squared, but because it's a co-function, it has that negative derivative. And you'll see the same pattern repeats. The derivative of secant is secant tangent. The derivative of cosecant is cosecant cotangent, right? Cosecant cotangent, uh, and has a negative because it's a co-function. So you can kind of use those colors to help you memorize things. Um, I would suggest that you make a note card for each one of these and that you quiz yourself regularly uh, because you're going to want to have these. Uh, there's no time in these problems to, to have to think about what the derivative of one of these functions is. So uh, if you had to reverse engineer any of these four, you could using sine and cosine in the quotient rule, but I wouldn't advocate for it. It's much better if you have all these memorized. Uh, again, in the end, we'll end up with about two dozen of these that we they memorize. So, so there's 14 here, 16 if you count these other two. Uh, and, and that's kind of the gist. So that is our unit two.